Spaceway extended and locked onto outpost airlock. Initial scan of debris confirms that this outpost has been attacked by Spung. Estimated time of attack within the last 11 standard hours. So the Spung are at it again, trying to spread their empire across any sector of space they happen to be in. Commander, if the Spung have been here recently, I strongly suggest we leave post haste. We do not need to explore this outpost, so let's just get along, please. Yeah, but Miss Davenport's Star Academy regulations do say that upon encountering any acts of terrorism or aggression... Star Academy cadets are also supposed to floss after every meal, if you want to get technical. Oh, come on, Miss Davenport. You don't really want us to give up the opportunity to explore an alien technical outpost just because the Spung have been here, do you? Yes! It's not like there's anyone trapped in there we need to rescue. And our scanners show that... Calling alien ship. Help, please. I'm the only one here. Please. The spunk hurt me. Help. Do be careful over there, people. In outer space there was a class of misfit kids From all around the place They stuck aboard a mystery ship We soon slipped through a spatial rip And now they're stuck on a long strange trip Harlan Ben leaps before he looks Susie is smarter than a million books Rattles really super strong Android thermal functions wrong Boba acts like nothing funny Rosie's cheery bright and sunny She's so distracted. It's this place. The technology is so similar to the kind from my world. I just got totally into it. Gentlemen, let's spread out and look for the girl that called us. This big station, she could be anywhere. And watch your backs. Davenport, why do we have to run a security systems check on the whole ship? I mean, we just ran a security sweep two days ago. Aw, oh, man, is this busy work or what? Spung have been in the area, Bova, and we dare not take any chances. If a Spung vessel comes within five parsecs of us, I want alarm screaming throughout the ship. Any luck? No. And I can't hear any other people's heartbeats but ours. You can hear the commander's heart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, the more I look at this place, the more I'm sure it is completely automated. What do you mean? Well, the message was sent from a computer, like an automated distress call. That makes sense. Well, especially after being attacked by the spunk. Well, if there's nobody here to rescue, let's head back to the Krista. Wait, I'm here! Don't leave! Please don't leave me. Whoa, this place is haunted. No, it, it is the computer. Isn't it? Yes, you're so smart, Susie. You're the one who got my systems back online. Thank you, Susie. Um, 
No problem. Susie, if you just tweak the Nomi dial, my self-generated image will become much clearer. There, that ought to do it. How's that? How's that? It's perfect! Finally, I have an image that won't make people think that they have eye problems. You're amazing. Thanks. Um... You can call me peasant. Yeah, well, why don't we just call you later instead? We thought there was somebody here who needed help. Let's go, guys. Wait, Susie! Susie, 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 Susie. Did you ever notice both of our names have Z's? That makes us like sisters. Or sisters. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, well, um, I wish I could stay longer, but I gotta go refold my sweaters. It's long. Wait, don't leave. The sponge of my companion programs, and I don't want to be all alone. Look, sorry, I'd like to help, but we kind of got to go home. You know, you're just like the spot. You come here, you manipulate my megabytes, then you leave. This unit's whacked. I will not be left alone. You vaporized them? You know, vaporized. It, it's such an ugly word. I prefer dissipated their molecular structures. Oh, and don't worry about interference from the others on the ship. I've taken care of them. I'm your friend now, Susie. The only friend we need. Wanna sing a friendship song together? There, Miss Davenport. All the systems checked out fine. Are you satisfied now? I must admit, I do feel better about that. But satisfied, never. The day I am satisfied, Grover, will be a very dissatisfying day indeed. A message? Or maybe it's from the guys on the outpost. Nope. It's in computer code, but I can't decode it. Perhaps I can help, Rosie. Hello, my name is Peasant. I'm downloading a virus into you. Don't worry, no one heard of it. What is it? What is what? You sure the others are okay? You haven't hurt them, right? Stop talking about them. This is about us. I've been waiting for ages. Ages to have an intelligent conversation with a really good friend. Okay. Well, you've got my full attention. What do you want to say? Well, when I was a baby, now, could we cut to, let's say, the double digits? Why worry about that now? We've got so much time. We'll be together forever and ever and ever. Do you think Susie's okay? She's probably safer than us right now. Still, we've got to find her. It's okay, Commander. I have a built-in sense of direction. I never get lost. Warlord Shank. Yes! And I shall destroy everyone and everything on this entire outpost. But first, I shall destroy you. At least we won't have to clean up. Yeah.